Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dappy Diversity. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I create cryptocurrencies for other people and how they can actually use the cryptocurrencies that I create. We're gonna jump over my shoulder into my computer here in a second and I'm gonna show you the finished product and you know how you can use it and actually do stuff with it. So before I do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. So a lot of people ask me about creating custom tokens for their project. And, you know, this is sometimes that they can have a token that gets used in their blockchain project. Um, or maybe they want to launch an ICO or maybe they want to, you know, airdrop some tokens to get some buzz going about their project and just distribute them manually. And that's really what this is for. It's for, you know, people who want to create their own cryptocurrency uh, on Ethereum. They want to create, you know, a custom ERC-20 token that's deployed to the Ethereum network. And this is a tool that allows them to, you know, uh, interact with their token and, you know, manage it. So what I've done here is I've actually created a custom ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and I've created, you know, an interface that allow you to uh, interact with it and basically... It's going to allow you to mint tokens for whatever address you want to. So I'll just show you. I'll copy this right here. Token address. We'll go to uh, covon.etherscan.io. So this is on a test network. Um, but I'll search for this token. And we can actually see, you know, the token here on Etherscan. We can see the code for it. We can, uh, you know, just scroll down. We can see... Um, all of the you know code and so here's the you know actual code uh, you know the token the smart contract uh, the cryptocurrency on etherscan and here is the interface that allows us to interact with it so what does it do so right now it shows you you know the token address we just saw and the token owner you know this is the person that controls it and whoever controls this token can actually mint tokens they can create new tokens for other people and, you know, why would you want to do this? Well, you might want a token that can be minted because you're not exactly sure how many you want to have uh, initially. You know, you might, you can actually launch your cryptocurrency and just create new tokens after you've created it. And this is really useful, like in a crowd sale, like an ICO, uh, where you're selling tokens and actually, you know, like you're creating the tokens as people are buying them. Or, you know, if you want to have a project where tokens can be minted, um, it's just a great way to do this kind of thing. You can create new tokens for airdrops, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I'll show you how that works. I'm going to copy uh, my account address here from MetaMask. Again, this is on the Coven, Covon test network. I'm actually just going to copy this and click paste. And I'll say I want to mint, uh, we'll say 500 tokens. And I'll click mint. And I'll sign the transaction with MetaMask. Click confirm. All right. And so I get a little pop-up confirmation that says uh, the tokens were minted. So we're going to wait for the Etherscan confirmation, and then we'll reload this page. All right. So I just refresh this page, and we can see the total supply has changed. So the minting process actually worked. So that's pretty cool. Now you can see this is the you know, number of tokens that exist. And we can increase this number every time we want to mint new tokens with this form here. So you may ask, you know, why would anyone trust a token that can be minted? Like, why would you invest in a cryptocurrency or why would you trust a cryptocurrency where you could always create more? Well, the good news about, you know, uh, a token like this that's mintable um, is that you can always finalize the minting process and basically say, all right, we're not going to mint any more tokens. We're going to actually call a function on the smart contract and tell, you know, we're, we're going to write on the blockchain that this token can't be minted anymore. And so that actually tells, you know, you know investors or people who hold your tokens that we're not going to create anymore. And so you could do that once you actually figured out how many tokens you wanted to have. Um, you can mint them that way. And so, like, how else could you use this? You know, if you wanted to have an airdrop, you could basically, you know, mint tokens to your own address and then, you know, take... Uh, those tokens and distribute them manually for airdrops or you know you could mint tokens individually and that could be your airdrop um, there's lots of different ways you could do it so there's lots of ways you could use this tool to sort of bootstrap your own cryptocurrency and get going fast and if you're interested in using something like this just let me know i'll put my email address down in the description of the video below so um 
if you go back to the Etherscan page, we can refresh this and we can see uh, the tokens that were created a few minutes ago. We can see that, uh, you know, minting tokens was called. Those are actually created. All right. And I should also mention that only the person who owns this token can actually mint the tokens. So, like, if you see this address right here, this is the token address, and then you see this address, this is the token owner. This is actually the account that I'm logged in with MetaMask. You can see that up in the right-hand corner here. Um, you know, this token address is, sorry, this account address, which is me, is the same as the token owner, which is also me. And if you read right here, it says, you know, only the token owner can do this. So, if this pay web page, you know, is exposed publicly, um, you know, someone wouldn't be able to mint any tokens with this form without, you know, being logged in, uh, well, you know, without being connected to the blockchain with this account address. And they need that, they would need my seed phrase, or my private key. So even if somebody found this web page, which I mean, you can see it publicly here, it's not a big deal. Um, they wouldn't be able to actually mint any tokens because they don't have access to my account or my private key. All right, so that's a tour of uh, this tool, this admin tool for, you know, creating your own cryptocurrency and uh, you know, adminning it to being able to mint tokens. Uh, again, you know, minting tokens is a really great way to get started and to kind of bootstrap your own cryptocurrency. Um, so, you know, in case you're not sure, like how many tokens you want, you know, you need time to work out your token economics and things like that. You know, this is a, a token that can be transferred to like an ICO pre-sale or like an ICO smart contract for a crowd sale. Um, it's a way for you to do airdrops for tokens to kind of like get buzz about your project going. Like if you have a blockchain project or a dApp that uses a token inside your ecosystem, this is a way to create the token and just get started that way. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy this overview. If it's something you guys are like interested in, you know, just let me know. You can leave a comment down below or you can uh, check my email address down in the description below. It's at gregory at dappuniversity.com. So yeah, I hope you all found this useful. So feel free to reach out. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University. Mm -hmm.